and gentlemen, welcome to Insight 2019 press conference. Minda from Free Malaysia today, I wanted to ask you um, on September 4th, Najib's aide, uh, Amhari, he had said during the court trial that uh, ECRL was uh, launched to uh, pay out 1MDB debt and uh, Jomo had the other day also appealed to the government to re-look into the whole issue and he was also suggesting if Malaysian government would go to China to speak to the president on this. No, I uh, definitely do not, do not disagree with Dr. Jomo when he says that uh, those which are linked uh, to uh, this one and this scandal should, oh, should be uh, you know, put in a different category. Uh, but at the same time, when uh, the, the, the whole project is being re has been renegotiated uh, the, uh, with the Chinese government, and the Chinese government has agreed to uh, cancel the multi-product pipeline project and to scale down or to renegotiate the price of the uh, ECRL, I think this is the win-win uh, solution that we can arrive at. You must also understand that this involves relations between Malaysia and China, which is our largest trading partner. So there are a lot of uh, national uh, considerations at stake. So whilst if you look at it in isolation, uh, I think what Jomo says is not wrong. But at the same time, you've got to look at the uh, national strategic consideration that you have these uh, two big projects, one which uh, obviously uh, it's a no-go and the Chinese government has agreed that that project be cancelled. The other, uh, when you already, you already have paid 20 billion, uh, you renegotiate the project so that it, the price can be cut down by more than 20 billion, 21 billion, uh, and then you don't have to go to court to talk about compensation. So because of the pros and cons, on one hand you already paid 20 billion with maybe a provision a, po uh, a probability of paying further compensation of tens of billions compared to the present solution where the price is uh, negotiated downwards and you got at least something on the ground uh, and at the same time maintain uh, the uh, good relations with China bearing in mind they are, are now our largest trading partner so I think in view of this uh, background, uh, the readiness to cancel one of the projects, you know, the multi-product pipeline, then that's even more serious, isn't it? Uh, they claim that 10% of work has been done. We go down there and Sabah cannot find one single screw also. <laughs> and yet 88% has been paid. 8.3 billion ringgit has been paid. No wonder in the court trial he says that bukan bincang, cincang. Bukan nak bincang, tapi cincang. Cincang apa? Cincang dokumen. Bukan bincang dokumen, cincang dokumen. So I think, uh, uh, you know, cincang means you chop and uh, uh, crush. Chop and crush. To shred it to bits uh, and pieces. You know. So <laughs> you can imagine that extent of cover up. So when you look at that Sabah multi-product pipeline and also the one in the peninsula of Malaysia, where 8.3 billion ringgit has been paid for practically no work done, uh, that project has been cancelled, and I think that is some sort of uh, solution. And at the same time, the ECRL, 20 billion ringgit paid, work has started. There's a possibility of having to pay compensation, so that has been avoided. We we negotiated the price. We saved 21 billion. And 20 billion, 21 billion is the project cost. You no, know? if you include the the interest cost, huh? For 21 billion, you are looking at more than double the amount over 20 year period. So you are looking at how much? You are looking at maybe up to 45 if you include interest costs. So this is where uh, we find that the, the best solution is to scale down the cost to number one, you save that money. Number two, you avoid having to pay tens of billions of compensation. Number three, you get at least something on the ground. And uh, Chinese, Chinese government has agreed to buy more palm oil. They also agreed to do more investments in industrial parks and also to bear half of the uh, operating costs when it's completed. So I think this helps uh, at least to find a uh, sort of a win-win solution. Okay? So what is, uh, on the trans uh, part-time, uh, will you pay 
Uh, itu yang kena bincang lah macam mana boleh dapat balik lah. So, uh, so actually the 8.3 billion is not just only in terms of direct cash. It's also guarantees because what the previous government done has done is this, no? The contract is guaranteed by Exim Bank of China. So when the contractor certify that that has been done, they pay, no? They pay, not we pay, but then we guarantee. So actually, the whole contract is completely out of control. I mean, where in the world you got you got contract where you pay based on the timeline basis? Up to now, when I ask Najib or ask Amno, they dare not explain. Oh, dia macam singa dekat luar, tapi isu ini dia lagi teruk daripada tikus. Tak berani jawab langsung. Tapi we are negotiating. To... We are negotiating with China lah to see how we can resolve this. So that one is uh, we leave it to the experts uh, to do it. I don't want to comment more because this one involves national sensitivities. Uh.